Yeah, hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft Viking Heritage. Uh, today I'm in Grassrup Forest, where I put out my uh, Osebad tail the first time, and also make a overnight here with my old hot tent. So this is a place I've been in before, and I have Colinus with me today, but I have to have him on lease because there's a lot of people here going with dogs and uh, horses and so on. So he'll run away if he's not in leash. So. Yeah, that's why. But uh, today I'm going to make something uh, called cold forging, and uh, yeah, I think it's called that in English too. In Danish, it's called cold uh, smithing, and it means that you uh, use metals, different kinds of metals, and uh, you uh, bend it and uh, uh, work on it without any heat. So you don't need a, a anvil, uh, so you can heat it up and uh, hammer it down. To the right size. I can use this and I'll put you a little bit closer. You can see I make a workbench here and uh, yeah I would like to tell you about that. 
Yeah, but I mustn't forget the reason why I put up my tent today is because you can see here these planks. I burned them so they are not light anymore, but a little bit black or brown. I like it a lot. I think it looks cool and it will uh, uh, work as a preservant too so that the wood won't rot. And beside that, I carved in some ornaments in my chair. Uh, I call it a Viking chair, but it's actually not a Viking chair. There's no evidence that this chair was used in the Viking Age. But a lot of people are using them, uh, and I think it's a cool little chair. And uh, regardless if it's Viking or not, I think it suits uh, this camp very well. And uh, yeah, I made my little table here, you so saw. I put it together so I can eat from this. I also have something to eat today. Yeah, a very special thing, very delicious, I hope so. I think Cornelius will like it a lot. So uh, yeah, and I want to sit on the ground when I'm working on this because it's easier, it's more stable. And uh, yeah, you can see how it goes when I'm uh, preparing the things I'm going to make today. So I hope you find this video interesting. Uh, my little project, cold smithing in uh, copper, and uh, I'm going to make some Viking um, jewelry, something you can put on uh, like this. Yeah. So and this is my little working space. You can see here, on top here, I have this little anvil. Yeah, you can see it here. It's really cool, it's old. I bought it on a secondhand uh, store. And uh, yeah, there's a little hole down here when I can put it down. And it's very sturdy there. I also bought this one that's almost the same, just very compact. And uh, I can use this if I want to make something in the woods. I can just put this down in a, in a block, in a piece of wood, and uh, use this as a little anvil. And on here, I have different kind of tools. Some of them I'll use today. Um, a little plier here. And over here, a hammer. And uh, it's a little special hammer. I'll tell you about this when I'm working on it. On here, I have some files. Yeah, some more tools. And this one I actually can put over here and then I can, yeah, make my uh, work on this. And uh, then I made this, a very special thing. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you how it works when I'm uh, going to that stage. So, yeah, and uh, beside that, I have a little box here with some different things in that I uh, will use today also. All in good time, I'll show you. And uh, this is the material I'm working on, uh, copper wire or thread. Um, this is four millimeters and this is uh, one and a half millimeters. I'm going to have some more in different kind of sizes and uh, I also have some copper a plate that I can use uh, for, yeah, I'll show you. So this is my little uh, workbench or workshop that I can uh, make um, some Viking jewelries on. I would also like to thank uh, my Viking brothers from Raymond of Asgard. They're a group of Vikings down, I think it's in uh, Eastern Europe, and they're, they're making videos too, awesome videos, Viking videos. And uh, of course, I put a link to that. I follow them and I follow them for a long time and they make great stuff. In, in one of the uh, recent videos, a guy made uh, something like I'm going to do today. So he inspired me uh, to begin this uh, and I'm very grateful for that. I made something similar that he did and uh, then I made some other stuff uh, and will make uh, uh, something called a troll cross today on this. Uh, a little bit different, but uh, yeah, I think it's cool, and I hope you like that too. Yeah, and uh, these are the items I've been working on back home to practicing. And uh, you can see here, these are called feeblers, and they are, uh, you can put it in your clock, your cape, and then close it. I show a video where I show this, but these are very small, so I don't think they could be used for that. Perhaps as in the video from uh, Raymond from Asgard, on your leg wraps, and uh, this is actually one of these. It's a little bit bigger, but you can see here, there's a little Thor's hammer. 
I can use this as decoration and uh, yeah, I think it's cool. And it's from uh, findings. If you watch the video, you can see uh, pictures of the findings of this. And uh, yeah, there's also uh, found people as all over the uh, northern part of Europe. Uh, but today I'm going to make something like this and uh, a new thing, a troll cross uh, with a little Thor hammer in. So yeah, now I have to start with the copper wire and uh, make it pointed. So I'll show you. Yeah, first I have to cut a piece of wire here. I have some measurement there. So uh, like this. And then I just have to file it so it will be pointed here. And uh, it takes a little while. So I do that and I'll be back when I'm almost finished. Yeah, you can see this one and uh, this one and uh, this one. This one is for the fibula I'm going to make first. And uh, yeah, I made a little thing that looked like this. Uh, something I invented and you can see why I have to make these rounds and for that I can use this yeah I have an idea I'm going to attend to a lot of uh, Viking markets this year I'm going to make uh, a workshop out in them and uh, see if I can sell some of my Viking jewelries. So I hope people will like them and uh, yeah, think they are cool. Then I take this one off. I have to say, yeah, you can see when I'm making the pin for the fibula, I can put this in instead. It's a little bit thicker. I have to use a thicker size when I'm making these, but yeah. Yeah, that looks nice. And then I used this hammer, uh, a ball hammer, to make these markings. I think it looks cool. Cornelius again. Someone is going here. There's a dirt road down 100 meters from here. And uh, yeah, Cornelius is very on watch. But uh, you can see, it's looking very rustic, I think it's called. Yeah. So, uh, can you see this? And then, another invention I made. Um, to make them round. I'll see if I can uh, show you. Take this one in and put it down here. And then you can see there's a hole there. I have to put this one in. Yeah, like this. And then this one is stable and I can just bend it around like this. So 
So it's going to be fairly round. Something like this. Then I can take it up. And you can see here it's coming. I think I'll put it over here again. Small adjustments all the time. Until it looks okay. You can see here. This one is almost done. A little bit more here. I think that is okay. And now for the pin. First I have to hammer this down. And then with the bolt hammer. I think this is enough. Then see. This is how it looks. And uh, the point is you put this in your cloth and then turn it like this and you can have it on. Yeah. I showed that in videos before. So I won't show that again. Yeah, my little feebla. And now for the th Troll Cross. I also have a Troll Cross that I customized myself. You can see here, this is a Troll Cross I bought from Grimfrost and then I put in this uh, Thor Hammer. I can't remember where I got this, uh, it's many years ago, but uh, this is going to, uh, this is uh, what I'm going to make in, in copper now. And uh, yeah, a little thing. I made this back home, uh, Sunwheel is something uh, uh, Sami, tradition drum 
thing. It's made of bone and inside there's uh, birch bark you can see here. And I put a leather string on. So I think it looks cool. Made out of bones, but yeah. Now I'm going to make this little troll cross. the matter Cornelius? Yeah, I think this is okay. Then again, I'll make this. I think this is fine. Yeah. And let's see. This will work too. Yeah. I have to bend it over each other. So it's a little bit different than the, the other one. Yeah, it's coming there. Just have to make it round again. Yeah, Cornelius, direct it. It's so boring this. Okay. Soon we're going to have some uh, food. So, yeah, just sit down there. Just sit down. And again, it's something I've never done before. This little shape, so I have to, I have to learn. Yeah. Now I think it's fine. You can see here a little thrall cross and uh, just to compare it you can see here yeah 
And now uh, for the Thor Shammer in the middle. Yeah. Here it comes. Yeah. You see the one sides. I just have to make it on the other side. Yep. Yep. And then I just have to use my little file here just to smoothen it. Yeah, and then again, use my hammer. Yeah, I think this is okay. Yeah, so. Uh, now we have the two things together, and I just have to bend it over here and make a little nuts. Like this. See here, I just have to. Like this. Uh, I think I'll cut a little bit off. So I can put it in here. And down here. Luckily, uh, copper is very soft material to work in, so yeah. This is my first try, so uh, next time I'll probably make it a little bit better, but I think this will do. And then I just want to put a little cordage on so that the Thor hammer will stay in place. I should have made this a little bit longer. I can see that now. I don't know if I can adjust it. I'll try to do that. Yeah, I managed to make it a little bit better. You can see here. So this is what I'm going to to go with. And um, some leather cordage. Just like this, I think.
Yeah. So, you can see my little new necklace with a troll cross, cross and a, a Thor hammer. And you can see my little collection of uh, Viking jewelry. Uh, as I said before, I think this will be just uh, put on the the, the garments and uh, just for decoration because they are too small for actually using as people are. But yeah, and I think the troll cross came out nicely. Uh, perhaps the Thor hammer will be a little bit smaller or the troll cross a little bit bigger. But uh, for now it's okay. Hope you like yeah. them too. Now I think it's time for making fire and some food. I know Cornelius is very impatient. So uh, I think the food I'm going to uh, make today is very special. I never had it before uh, out here. So yeah. Let's see. Almost done. Yeah. So just have to clean up here and then uh, have to chop some firewood. <laughs> 